I want to look at some of the stuff that we did not get to look at in yesterday's uh, filming. And we're going to start off by looking at BENE stocks. So for this one, we're giving a roundup of both Friday and also what we have seen over the past five days. So basically, it's going to be a quick roundup of the week. If it sounds like a good video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Please do bear in mind, guys, tomorrow, hopefully, I will be giving you a few of my thoughts and opinions going forwards into next week. But this one, I just want to look at what we have seen last week. And this is going to be mainly on a technical front. So if it sounds good, please do leave a like and subscribe. If you can, feel free to press that join button down below and become a member. And on top of that, we are also doing a fundraiser right now for Save the Children. So if you can donate to Save the Children, you will be making a positive impact on some children's life. And of course, the final thing for me to remember is, of course, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. Do your own research and please be aware that this is a very, very risky stock. But now that I have mentioned that, we're going to jump into it and look at the price section that we've noticed in the past week. So we're going to start off on the simple chart as always. We're going to do this on the one day first. You'll see one thing is clear. Friday was a red day down by 25 cent and about 2.32 percent but really on the chart it was not too bad. You'll see the movement that we have been noticing. It was quite flat for the majority of the day. We had a bit of a push up from about heart for about one o'clock I would say go forwards into about two o'clock and from there we started to consolidate for a little bit but it didn't last and we did drop towards the end of day so that is the one day trend like I said only down by 25 cent it is two percent but it's really not as bad in my opinion especially when we go into look at the after hours and you'll see we made almost all of that back going up by a further 2.19 percent so really the drop wasn't as big as it looks especially accounting in those after hours but one thing that we are seeing on the five day is a continuous decline in share price now now we did have a little bump up here on Wednesday, but this doesn't really mean too much in the grand scheme of things because bear in mind, from the highs on Monday, this stock was over $16. Right now we're coming back down to the $10 mark. Now there are some positives to this in my opinion, but of course there are also some negatives. And this is where this stock gets divisive for a lot of people because you guys will know for the most part, this is a special acquisition company stock, also known as a SPAC. And with it being a SPAC stock, from a fundamental standpoint, we do need to have that you know, acquisition going forwards to see this one see big moves because usually that is the main catalyst. Now, overall, that is not always true. One thing that we have noticed in the past few weeks and months is that oftentimes when people can get together and uh, buy a stock and feel that the stock is worth something, the stock can remain at a high value and it doesn't necessarily need the fundamentals to mirror that. But oftentimes the fundamentals are more of a catalyst in this type of stock and of course that is what we are looking for in the future. We're looking for strong fundamentals but ultimately where we are right now with this being a SPAC stock, it is inevitably going to be a gamble. So do bear that one in mind, it could go either way. Now from where I'm standing, like I said yesterday with a few of our other stocks which were specs, this one isn't the worst in the world for one simple reason. When we look at this stock, it's a spec like I mentioned, and specs oftentimes do remain stable in the $10 range, usually for about the 950s all the way up to the 1050s, and that is true over here with this stock. So look at it over the past month, or even over the past six months, you will see $10 here come down to $9.98 here, up to about $10.03. Basically, it's been, it's been quite stable in the $10 range for quite some time and that is often true with SPAC stocks. They often do return to the $10 mark. So one thing that I'm going to say, and of course, like I said, it's not financial advice, and it certainly is not necessarily guaranteed to be true, but with SPACs often sitting on $10, you could argue that the risk potential here is relatively low. Now, of course, it is still a very risky stock overall, so I must uh, add that into the equation. So if you are going to be investing in this one, I definitely think it is important to manage your risk appropriately, only going with what you're willing to lose, and you should be fine. But obviously, like I said, with this one only being at 1052, the potential of it dropping is absolutely there but the amount that it will drop by is likely not as high now like i said this is only going off what we have seen in the past it's not guaranteed to be the same here but what i'm trying to say is that with this stock and with these stocks in general the risk potential usually takes us down to ten dollars and again the reward potential could take us as high as fourteen dollars as we have seen in the past now again is this stock a good buy right now i think it is very divisive to answer that question but i'm going to say one simple thing it depends on how much risk you're willing to take and how much of a gamble you're willing to put in this stock because like i said on the one hand we could have great things coming for the stock we could have big moves coming if we have continuous good news and continuous support from retail investors 
But of course, with it being a SPAC, the other end of the stick is that it is a gamble. Hype could go away just as quickly as it came in. And of course, that would bring negatives into the stock and would kind of leave us uh, in this $10 range indefinitely if we do not see the good news that we are looking for. So please do be aware that both things could happen. It's very, very unclear right now. And again, this being a SPAC stock and being quite a higher high risk one, in my opinion, it does carry quite a lot of gambling but of course if you guys are willing to take that it definitely could be an okay play now what i want to look at is the charts the one day five day and one month on the one day we're sat on a moving average of 1052 it's above where we are right now because of the sell-off that we had towards the very end our rsi figure is on 45 which is really good bear in mind 50 is neutral so 45 is where we want to be uh, the trend on the macd is now becoming bearish because of this drop not too significant because it is only the one day data the five day data for this over here you will see the moving average is almost true to where we are right now only one or two cent above and again that is because we have had quite a flat week for the majority of it we've had that time to consolidate which is fantastic and the moving average has had time to catch up now because of the drop towards the end of friday the rsi figure is a little bit low on 40 but it's only 10 points away from neutral and 20 points away from being oversold so it is still more in a territory where we would be happy with it and the trend on the macd is now dropping bearish as time does go on now the past month data for this one, like I said, we are dropping over the past week or so because we have had this massive rise up to $17, coming back down to where we started off now in the $10 range. So again, it is very unclear where this one is going and it is going to require quite a lot of volume going forwards into the next week to see this one see another rise because bear in mind friday's volume over here was at 2.66 million this is the price this is compared to the prior day at 3.22 and the highs over here we saw volume at 61 million so volume is significantly down over the week we want volume to come up a little bit it doesn't really need to be too high bear in mind we had a red day back here if it will let me highlight it so this was a red day uh, on our screen right now that was 7.2 million volume and the prior day we only had 6.51 but we did have a green day so ultimately a bit more volume would be a nice thing to see and it would show me that there is still quite a lot of interest in the stock and people are still trading the stock which would be a very good thing now overall for our indicators we're having the MACD, which is actually becoming bearish as time goes on. We're having about four red candles right now, and they are becoming more significant as time goes on. They're becoming steeper and steeper steps down, and that is very clear on Friday, and these lines are coming close to crossing over. Now, bear in mind where the lines cross over here, it is an indication of a bearish trend forming. And again, the MACD is kind of looking to cross over right now, which would be a more bearish sign. The trend on the RSI you will see is on 51, which really is reasonable. We were at 100 for a while back here, but now we're coming back down to more normal levels, and I am happy to see this one kind of stabilize out. So on the one month, we are seeing that the RSI is coming down to where we want it to be. Overall, it kind of is looking good uh, for another move up potentially and again the bottom could be near for the stock and I'm definitely going to be hesitant to say that it is there for sure but the bottom could be near. I must emphasize it's not guaranteed I'm just going off what we have seen in the past and I am not a financial advisor but tell me your opinions down below do you think this one is worth it of course like I said it does carry quite a lot of risk but tell me what you think in the comments. Well, thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord. So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord, obviously it is split into multiple sections, basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff, if you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, specs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community, we also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon